Cody! Come inside. Close. It will take her until the day the baby is born to decide what she wants. Matt. No, we do this with everything. Clothes, houses, baby toys. She's been barred from all the toy stores in town. <laughs> it's just, it's got to be softer, you know, something more muted. Here, how about something like this? I don't think I have anything like that. In fact, I don't think they make them like that anymore. Oh, come on. I think we must have something that's at least close. Must be your first. Is it that obvious? So what do you want, a boy or a girl? It really doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Be honest. Everybody has a preference. No, we don't. We just have to have gotten this far. Come on. I think all men really want sons. Admit it. The doctor was going to tell us, but we decided to keep it secret for ourselves. That should be old fashioned. Let's get you some air. Martha, what just happened this isn't the first time. And what if I hadn't been there? You could have hurt yourself with the baby. You know, I was working out in the desert this morning, and I think I just overdated a little bit. This has nothing to do with your work. You haven't had a full night's sleep in months. I think it's just all the excitement. Look, I've only got a few weeks left up here. Maybe I should come home early. Matthew. I hate the idea of us spending so much time aboard. Yeah, so do I. But, you know, it took forever to get this bid, and I just don't think you should give it up because of me. There is nothing to worry about. These nightmares, they're not normal. Matt, everybody has bad dreams. Yeah, but not like these. You wake up in the middle of the night screaming, and then you can't go to sleep for hours. You never had them before you got pregnant. Can we talk about something else, please? Why is it every time I start something important, you walk away? I do not. What? <sighs> sorry, I'm sorry. Honey, come on. I'm two hours away. Please, don't worry. Promise me you'll call Dr. Daly in the morning. <sighs> I promise. Okay.
Are you ready, me? I think he never sleeps, Mom. Sedative. I want to keep her overnight, run a few tests. Should have never left her alone. What's that you? It's only temporary. Your job, Martha's condition. Best thing you can do is stay calm. She needs your stability right now. Oh, I'm sure I saw it. You know, I thought I was dreaming, but, but I wasn't. I saw the snake. Very interesting case I want to talk to you about. I have a patient. Claims she was bitten by a snake, but there's no snake and no bite. Yet her system was full of venom. I had a specialist run some tests. The venom turned out to be completely harmless. I've heard about this kind of thing before. There's a certain type of snake like that in Latin America where the venom acts more like a hallucinogen. Some aboriginal cultures use it in their fertility rates. And she claims she dreamt it. You're the only one I know with a background for this. Oh, don't do this to me, Daly. It's as if her dream and reality cross paths. I've never seen anything like it. Have you? There are only a very few tribes I've ever studied that claim to do this sort of thing. It's very unusual. They've been trying to have a child for two years. I would have given up if it wasn't for Martha. Mom, uh, I'm not ready to start seeing patients again. I'm sorry. Just talk to her. Okay? I spoke to Vivian Dominguez on the phone. She sounds great. Might help. Matt. Martha, this is important. You have to deal with this. If not for you and me, one for the baby. Sir, 
So are you going back to Phoenix tonight, or what? No, I put for some time off. I don't want you going through this alone. my wife, Martha. This is Dr. Vivian Dominguez. Martha, it's good to meet you. Any trouble with directions? Oh, not at all. An incredible house. You're really on the edge of nowhere out here. Well, we like our privacy. Yeah, why don't I uh, leave you two alone? It's a wonderful studio you have. You know, I feel like I've seen this before. I don't think so. I'm still working on that. I really like the simplicity. It's an environmental sculpture. The poles attract lightning. You know, it reminds me of the sort of thing I saw growing up in the Argentine. I spent a lot of time out in the country on digs. We had the most incredible ruins down there. You must have a strong background in pre-Columbian art. Not really. Then where did you get the idea? The process is always different. It just looks so familiar. Maybe you saw the design in a book. Actually, that came to me from a dream. I, I've been studying dreams for a long time now. But I'm sure Daly told you that. One of the areas that I'm really interested in is their physical manifestation. But they don't have any. Sometimes they do. What about your experience with the snake? Did that really happen or was it just a dream? Maybe it was both. I find that hard to believe. See, I think every dream contains a message, no matter how insignificant. I always wake up before the end, so I don't remember much. It's important to see a dream through to its conclusion, to understand what the message is. And how do you do that? Through hypnosis. Have you ever been hypnotized? No. Well, once. It just, it didn't work. What if we try it together? I don't really think that's a good idea. There's no reason to be afraid. It's not like dreaming where you surrender completely. You're still very much in control. Close your eyes. Let yourself drift. Be aware of how your body feels. Imagine yourself on an escalator. You're going down. It's getting darker. Each floor takes you deeper and deeper. Count them down with me. Five, four, four. Three, three, two, two, one. What do you see? Nothing happened. Are you certain? I'm really sorry to waste your time. Martha. Look, I know it was a long drive out here, but I've really got a lot of things I've got to get done. There's something happening inside of you, Martha. And there's one thing you can count on, it's not going to go away. I want her dead. You must be patient, Mia. Ever since I was little, you told me to be patient. So I wait for her and for her baby. But I am tired of it, Mama. 
I am tired too, me. We came here many years ago to prepare for the birth of this child. We were only in this country a week when my mother died. She wanted to go back to her homeland, to be buried on her own soil. You pray for grandmother, but she doesn't need your prayers. She's the lucky one, Mama. We are the ones who are dead. I want my own child. You are barren, Dolores. I know, Mama. I know. You will never have a child of your own unless the prophecy is fulfilled. Mom? Mom, why aren't you ready? The shower starts in half an hour. I want you to go. So I thought you were going to get your hair done, Mom. Please don't. Matthew and I have been kicking around a few more names for the baby. You want to hear them? Sure. Well, he's come up with Bradley. But I don't know. I think Bradley sounds like something you'd name your yacht. We took the Bradley up to the Hamptons for the weekend. I don't know. I still like Andrew. I'm glad Dad was an Andrew. What do you think? You have any suggestions? Not really. I'm ready. Casualties so far. Oh, well, you better let me check for score. <laughs> What's she doing here? Daily's date. As if we don't see enough of each other. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, uh, you and the lady psychotherapist, you and I don't work. I'm just doing a little therapy of my own. Vivian doesn't get out much these days. Her husband died a few months ago in a dig down in South America. Some freak accident. You can see. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Hi, you're Martha's mother, aren't you? Daly was telling me that you were a doctor with the Central American Project. For science, uh, C-A-P-S. That's an experimental program, isn't it? I think I read something about it in one of my journals. We knew very little back then. You, you can't really blame somebody for something they don't know. The people were very happy to see us when we came. Oh, Martha's really fortunate to have been raised in another culture. Her art... Martha was raised in Arizona. She, she, she's never been there. I, I remember when I came home, there, there wasn't anybody at the airport to meet me. There was not a soul to, to help me down the stairs. There were all those stairs. I'll never forget, I was so... 
afraid I was going to fall. You were ill? I was pregnant. I was uh, pregnant with Martha. She was huge. She was 12 pounds at birth. Somebody finally brought me a wheelchair. I imagine her father was glad to have you home. So, has my mom been uh, filling you with her tales of adventure in the jungle? She's had quite a life. Had is a pretty accurate observation, Doctor. Uh, come on, Mom. Don't talk that way. If I hadn't had a child, I would still be practicing. I, I, I loved medicine, and uh, I loved traveling, and, uh, and I, I, I hate being tied down. Well, you must be overjoyed at becoming a grandmother. It's not my fault they can't have babies. Pardon? It took Matthew and I a long time. Actually, Daly was afraid I might not get pregnant. So much can go wrong. But everything is fine now, Mom. Right? Why did you buy this cake, Martha? It is, it is very sweet. Yeah, this is the way it should be. What's that? Me here relaxing, you doing manual labor. <laughs> hey, hey, no fair assaulting the pregnant woman. <laughs> New medication must be helping your mom. She told me she hadn't had a migraine in weeks. She's taking enough pills to choke a horse. I don't know. Well, she had a good time tonight. You think so? Yeah. I can't remember the last time she enjoyed herself. She's always medicated. Nothing I do pleases her. And I keep trying to make it work, but... Honey, you're doing the best you can. The sculpture's gonna look incredible tonight. I think this is it. Come on, let's go. so long for a night like this. I'll set up the camera. You tell me. I'm running away. Just like my mother. This is what happened to our people, Dolores. But it does not have to happen to you. That is why we came here. The lightning. days the child will be born now is the time to separate Marta from friends family I 
want you to consider seeing her again. It didn't do any good. Martha, you gotta give it some time. One session doesn't mean anything. Vivian is an amazing doctor. Give her a chance. We'll see. Ooh, you're dropping, Martha. <laughs> Won't be long now. Oh. Feel that? <laughs> oh, I'm counting the days. <laughs> I hate to go back, but the restoration on the church is behind schedule. I'm gonna be fine. You're being awfully independent about this. <laughs> well, isn't that why you married me? Come on, you're gonna be two hours away. I'm gonna be fine. You know, there's one thing I am really looking forward to after this baby is born. I'm glad you decided to come. Actually, I wasn't really sure. I kept going back and forth all morning. But I want everything to be okay for the baby. It can be, Martha. This is beautiful. My sister made it. Dyes all her own wool. Is this your husband? We just gotten back from Peru. Spend our honeymoon in the Andes. It was an incredible trip. Were you married very long? Almost a year. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I forget he's gone. Expect him to come strolling by the bed with a mug of coffee in his hand, talking a mile a minute. That's how my days used to start. Are you cold? No, I'm fine. You can put this on if you like. Really, I'm okay. I'm okay. Landros, that's my husband's name. He had a theory that um, we're all a part of a giant maze. And over the years, we choose certain paths, ignore others. Always searching. For instance, why did you choose to become an artist? To incorporate dreams into your work. Doesn't that intrigue you? I never really thought about it. A lot of artists create because they have to. I think in your case it goes deeper than that. I think the answer is in your dreams. Why do you keep pressing me on this? Because it's suffocating you, Martha. I'd like to hypnotize you again. Okay. Tell me about the dream. It's not a dream. It's happening. Now. Right now. What do you see? You got those lines secure? <clears throat> Alright. Really gentle now. Tell me okay. what you see. Colors. Bright colors floating through the air. Yeah, watch that on the left. Bring it to the left. Great. Matthew? What is it? Watch, watch that corner, okay? What's wrong? Is something wrong? What is it? It's a woman. Dark hair, dark eyes. With a tattoo. Tell me about the tattoo. I want to stop. Keep going. No. Tell me about the tattoo, Mark. I don't know. Tell me more about it. I think... I think it's a, a lizard. All right. 
Hold it. Hold it safe. Matthew. She's here. It's like she's here. Who? Martha. Ignore it. Really close. Hold on. Hold on. Now, wait a minute. I don't want you to push yourself. Hold on. Don't push it. I see the head. You're doing great. The head's out. You're doing great, Martha. It's time to push. Push. gonna be so happy. A very long time ago, our ancestors followed the path of a lizard to our homeland, to a place filled with rivers and streams and trees that reach into the clouds. Our ancestors were given a prophecy that we would be driven from our land and many years later we would wait for the birth of a child. This would signal the beginning of our journey home. It is time to reclaim what is rightfully ours. Let us begin. Is the child a safe distance from his mother? Yes. Good. She has served her purpose. Okay, okay. Easy. Oh. Oh. Okay, Let's get her back. Easy. Let's go. She's here. Oh. 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 Where's this blood coming from? Get a line in. Yes, sir. Open it up wide. Get some Pitocin, that's bad. What's going on? Her pulse is up. It's at 128. The MPIC. I can barely hear her beeping. I need some blood. Yeah. Oh, don't 
Help us out here. Let's get those contractions going. Come on, Mark. She's looking pale. She's unresponsive, Doctor. Clear. Clear. Her BP's back. The bleeding stopped. You stabilize it. She was trying to stop me. I know it. I could feel her just like before. You never told me she could fight back. Her ability is weak. She cannot harm you. Think about the child. He's all that is important. We have seven days from his birth to complete our mission. You need to get your strength back. The trip home is a long one. Nothing can stop us now, Mia. I had this really strange dream. I, I don't even remember much. It was... It was like this power through my body. And it was Matthew. I want Matthew. him so much. You have the strength to make it through, Martha. Believe me, I know. Look at his eyes, Martha. He has your father's eyes. So sweet, so innocent. He had the most amazing eyes. He didn't want to leave me alone. She never knew her father. It's a terrible thing for a child not to know her own father. I brought a gift for you, Andrew. I've been saving it for a long time. Martha's father gave it to me when we first met. I had mine cut down for the baby. My mom gave me one when I was little. I haven't taken it off since. It's a ceremonial design. It's from Central America, isn't it? I'm trying to remember what that design means. They told me it's supposed to protect the wearer. What you said in there? Protected from what? I was so afraid for my baby. I, I didn't know what to do, who to turn to. I was so alone. Everything went wrong down there. What went wrong down there? When I came back, I tried to forget. But they wouldn't let me. No matter what I did, it just got worse. Are you okay? Started with the headaches. These terrible headaches. I spent most of my time in bed. I, did. I just couldn't concentrate anymore. The medicine left me. It didn't help. Nothing made the pain go away. What did your doctors have to say about it? Carol. They said there was nothing medically wrong with me. I think there's a connection between what happened to you and Martha's nightmares. Carol, I need your help.
Is that time of the day, Ms. Eastman? See you tomorrow. You know the rules. Good girl. This isn't easy, Mrs. Townsend, but please try. Uh, I think her hair was pulled off her face. I'm not sure, you know, I'm sorry. I just don't remember. It all happened so fast. Honey, nobody expects you to have all the answers. It was the woman from my dream with the tattoo. And when I saw it right before Matthew died. Show me what it looks like. Mrs. Townsend. We found these down in maintenance. In the dumpster. They're Andrews. We're doing everything we possibly can. You're still too weak, Martha. You're not ready to go home. I can't just sit around here and wait. I gotta get out of here. Well, at least let me drive you. Please. I just need to be alone. Oh, Miss Townsend. Have you heard something? Well, the baby's identification papers are missing. They contain his hand and footprints. Well, it just makes our job that much more difficult, Mrs. Townsend. We have no way of positively identifying your child, even if he is located. My son is out there. I know it. And I'm going to find him.
on. Come on, Martha. Answer the phone, Martha. You're the most beautiful baby I have ever seen. Don't you think so, Mama? What are you so busy with? I have made plans for us to leave tomorrow night. Mama? It's too dangerous here. Dangerous? What are you afraid of? You are the one who told me there is nothing to worry about. You lied to me, Mama. You never told me about her power. I was trying to protect you. And now you're worried that she's stronger? That somehow she will hurt me and take the baby away from us? How can you think so little of me? Me, huh? It is not a matter of strength. Feel her presence. Like she was right there in the room with me. You've had these experiences before. Look what happened with the snake. With Matthew's death. You saw it, but you weren't there. This power that you keep talking about. You think it's a way to find Andrew, don't you? Yes. Long hallway. He's just waking up. Tell me about the room. There's a, a, a crib by the window. It's, it's very bright. I can't see much. Andrew? It's a woman. It's the same one that I keep seeing. Stay with it. Push yourself. Mama? Are you past me? Huh? Almost. She's here. I can feel it. What's this? Did you give this to him? No, he had it at the hospital. A gift from his grandmother. She thought it would protect him. The magic is for us. Andrew, what happened? They cut his chain. Who? The same woman with the tattoo. Uh, the building, it's a rooming house uh, somewhere in town. What building? Where? Come on, Martha. Tell me what you remember. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta call the police. And tell them what? That you had a psychic vision of the woman who took your child? Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm convinced that your mother has something to do with this. 
What do you know about her work in Central America? Nothing. It, she won't talk about it. It's like a part of her life that she's, she's just dismissed, like it never happened. That's where your answers are, Martha, in your mother's past. Tucson resident Carol Eastman left today for an 11th month tour of duty in Central America in which an experimental vaccine will be tested in the fight against malaria. Eastman was the only one of eight physicians to return alive. Sources close to the study report that an investigation is underway. Ms. Eastman offered no comment. Daily. Twins. I need you for a minute. So do the twins. I want some background on Martha. I got a medical history on file. It's yours. Come on, ladies. Keep it down. We got a business to run. It's Anna's last day. The good ones are hard to keep. Would you like a piece? No time. Save me some. something we need to talk get the others is it time yes look I have wasted too much time already now I need your help you have got to tell me what happened down there no mom stop it stop it you are not gonna shut me out all my life you've done that. All these things you wouldn't talk about, these secrets. I... Mom, please, for once, I need you to help me. Please. We were sent there by the Defense Department to conduct a study. There was a new malaria vaccine that needed to be tested. I was the first white woman they'd ever seen. The villagers thought we were gods. They thought I could work miracles. It was not our fault. What it was what not about our Andrew? fault. Your father was... No, Mom. The baby. What does this have to do with my baby? He was our guide. Andrew, Mom. We're talking about Andrew. He Please, is... Mom, this is not helping me. Your father, he was one of them. What? Oh, he was an artist just like you, Martha. They caught him trying to help me escape. They blinded him. And that was his punishment. He loved me so much. It was the first time anyone had ever married outside the village. He said they trusted me because of my medicine. 
And we thought it was safe. The government lied to us. And, uh, oh, uh, oh then we woke up and uh, everyone was screaming and it was a nightmare. And uh, everyone was vomiting blood and uh, the women were having miscarriages and the, the vaccine contained a, a radioactive isotope it shrank the ovaries and contaminated the blood I didn't know. It's not my fault. I didn't know. Oh, Here, I think I found Andrew. What? Where? 65 Lariat Street. I'm on my way. Solvatera. I don't care. Tell the lieutenant it's an emergency. Vivian? Vivian?
Get her out of here. Let go of me. I'm sorry, Mrs. Townsend. You're sorry? My son has been here for four days and you have the nerve to tell me you're sorry? There's nothing out there anymore. I want my passport back. Go home. This is ridiculous. They've taken my son. Do you have any children? Then can't you understand what I'm going through? The trip up there is very dangerous. I don't care. I'll, I'll hire a guide. The locals say Sofatera is haunted. They call it the city of lost souls. You will not find one person who has set foot on that soil. I am not leaving this place until I find my son. Permit to me? Busco a estas personas. Viajan con un niño. ¿Les ha visto? ¿Saben que usted viene? ¿Ha visto a mi hijo? C 
¿Cuándo pasaron por aquí? Ayer, muy temprano. Debe irse. Váyase. Váyase. ¿Por qué me ayuda usted? Thank you. Expecting you, my daughter. My name is Xela. I met your mother for the first time here, in this very spot, admiring that wall. I had just finished carving the figure of the woman into the stone. I remember telling her the image came to me in a dream. Where's my son? Come with me, Martha. And I'll tell you. So much of what happened here was part of a prophecy. And that prophecy ends with your son. It was written, the visitors would come and bring death to our village, and a terrible drought would follow. But we did not live in fear. We simply pray that the prophecy would never come true. Before we knew it, it was upon us, and it was too late. They've taken Andrew to the top of the mountain, according to the legend. Spilling your son's blood 
will make our land and our women fertile again. I've got to go to him. There is no time. Tomorrow will be the seventh day before sunrise. He'll be sacrificed. Please, you've got to help me. There is nothing I can do, Martha. But you, you have the power. I don't understand. The woman who stole your baby, Dolores, she was the last child born to the village. Just as you are the first born to the outside, you are like sisters. You share the same power. Will it help me get my son back? Only if you learn to use it. Will you teach me? You must go to where your son is. You must send yourself there. Lay down. You have done this before, Martha. No, I haven't. Not like this. You must draw upon yourself. The power is deep within you. I don't know what that means. Think about your sculpture. Follow the path of the light. Simply follow the light. It will lead you to Andrew. Don't fight it. Nothing's happening. Follow the light to Andrew. I can't do it, I'm afraid. Let the power flow through your body. Go to your child, Martha. Go to your child. A thousand years of tradition ends with you. After this day, you will bear a child, and our race will begin anew. Andrew! She's not stronger than you. left who can put a stop to this. I can't do this anymore. The killing must stop. I'm doing this for you, Mija.
This is for you. I don't want to just leave you here. I belong here, Martha. Andrew has a rich heritage. Be certain that he knows that. He is as much a part of my life as he is of yours. He is the last of us, Martha. The very last. I don't know what to say. How to thank you. Your power will bring life back to the mountain. Adios. Mija. second birthday to see each other again. I miss you. I missed you too. I'm glad you came. I promise I'll give you a call in a couple of days. Okay. You're looking more like Matthew every day. Sleep. I'll finish up here. No, you know, I want to get up early anyway. I want to fix those shelves for your room and get all that stuff out of boxes. Come on. Great. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm glad you're here. Oh, let me kiss that grandson a birthday kiss once more. Oh, I got so many years to make up for. No. Come on. Oh, you got me, huh? You got me. <laughs> Why don't we put you to bed, okay? Oh, there you go. There you go.
Okay. Hi. Oh, okay. Oh. Do we drop your little thing here? Do we? 